Time to go into the future. The Minecraft Create mod introduces a bunch of really interesting features, but one of the coolest ones is the mechanical arm. Now, I'll be honest, I haven't really done too much with these things just yet because I've been a little bit terrified to use them. And that's simply because they are so outside of what I'm used to in Minecraft Redstone that they seemed a little bit daunting. But I have just spent all morning messing around with the Create mod, experimenting with things and specifically playing with the mechanical arms. And now I think I know what's going on. So now it's time to take Minecraft and my mechanical arm and automate literally everything. Okay, maybe not quite everything, but still. Now, one thing that I've learned is these mechanical arms can work incredibly quickly, but when they work incredibly quickly, they generate a lot of stress, which means you need a powerful engine. So I'm not going to be using wind turbines or fans or anything like that. Instead, I'm going to be making use of a furnace engine. Now, the only issue is, is for this furnace engine to actually generate power, of course, the furnace has to be activated, which means I need a constant source of fuel and also things to smelt. Now, the first thing that comes to mind there is trees because you can smelt the wood from trees to get charcoal and then you can use that charcoal to actually fuel the furnace. So I guess before we do anything with the mechanical arms, I have to create an infinite power generator making use of an automatic tree farm and I guess an automatic bone mill farm as well because we're gonna need bone mill as well. I've just made things really complicated for myself, haven't I? So this little thing is going to place down our saplings automatically. That bit's really simple. This next bit got really, really confusing for me. But after a lot of trial and error, I've managed to make it work. So we have a mechanical saw that is attached to a linear chassis, which is attached to a chest. Now that's important because if you connect up this structure, so the mechanical saw is connected up to some form of container, then when it breaks a tree, in theory, all of the items from that tree should end up in this chest. And I, I, I guess we're about to find out if that is the case. Hopefully this has all worked. Well, the tree disappeared and we have all the stuff. Now, the issue that I was running into is I did not realize that these mechanical saws actually activate as you move them. So you can see here when this thing moves forward, the saw actually starts working and that solves all sorts of issues that I was having trying to run shafts and things into the back of this whilst also connecting up linear chassis. So this is what I've got so far. It's all the stuff that I've explained, just slightly rearranged. Now I just need to work out how to get the items from this chest right here into the correct location. So the saplings, they need to go into this thing. The logs need to make their way into the furnace. The sticks need to go somewhere else. And then the charcoal needs to go from here to hear. As you can probably tell, my two brain cells are getting pretty overloaded right now, but progress is being made. So this chest is going to move back and forth. It's going to go over the top of the chute, and then we're going to have a depot down at the bottom here. And because this video is all about making use of mechanical arms, it seems wrong to not make use of a mechanical arm to distribute all of the items. So we need a brass funnel on our furnace. We also need a brass funnel on our little pokey thing. And then a brass funnel on this chest over here, which is going to be used for all our sticks. And the reason that I'm using brass funnels is because that allows me to have filters. So I can choose what items go into each one of the funnels and the mechanical arm takes that information and puts everything in the right place. Except it totally didn't put everything in the right place and completely broke. But now this monstrosity of a mechanical contraption is actually working. You can see when charcoal pops out the bottom of this furnace, our mechanical arm picks it up, puts it into this chest right here, which then feeds it back into the furnace. So we have fuel coming in. And if I put some saplings into here, then we can see that they immediately get planted. Now, the interesting thing is, if I do this, oh, I've just thought our saw isn't moving. I need to add something that will power our saw so that we can automatically chop things down. Oh, that might actually take a little bit of work. Ah, uh, I've broken things. A couple of hours later, and after a lot of headaches and tweaking, this system is now done. And I must admit, it was well worth the time because just look at it. Is this not the coolest thing in the world? So you'll see when our wood supply gets a little bit too low, the system will detect that. It will chop down the tree and it will resupply the system with wood and then distribute all of the saplings and all of the charcoal all throughout the system. So everything is fully self-powered. And... I mean, it, needlessly, okay, I totally didn't have to do this, but needlessly, it's incredibly compact. Like, everything is really nice and tight-knit. This is a really, really cool-looking contraption. And most importantly, it is outputting 14,500 SUs of stress capacity. That is fantastic. Now for our bone mill farm. Now, what's really interesting about the Create mod is 
you can actually pick up mob spawners making use of minecarts. So I currently have, this is a minecart contraption right here. I, I have got this mob spawner in my inventory. It's very strange. I'm yet to play around with minecarts too much. It's something that, once again, I'm quite nervous of. I'm excited for it, but I'm nervous for it. But with that in mind, we can now create the ultimate skeleton farm. So up at the top here, we've got ourselves a 2x2 two two cube of skeleton mob spawners. And you can see the skeletons spawn and immediately fall down to the bottom to their death. Now down at the bottom for the item collection system, I haven't really done anything create related. Instead, I've stuck to the old vanilla Minecraft ways of just placing a floor of hoppers. So the next part of this process is to convert our bones into bone meal. And I imagine we do this making use of a mechanical crafter. So if we hook up all of these things and then maybe output into a hopper, then this could work. I mean, it certainly looks like it should work. If I change my difficulty into normal mode, we should begin to get some skeletons spawning from our mob spawners. And here come the bones. Okay, so they are flowing in and they are automatically being converted into bone meal. Fantastic. All right, this is absolutely working. So if I connect this up into this, then that is going to refill our bone meal dispenser. And that is going to mean that we now have a completely self-sufficient Ennery generator. And yes, I am very aware of the fact that I just said Ennery, but that's fine because I've been playing a lot of Minecraft today. So having spent far too long on the energy supply of this thing, which by the way is working absolutely fantastically, it is time to put that energy to good use. And I'm thinking, automatic mechanical arm storage system. So obviously mechanical arms are very good at taking items and putting them into specific locations. So I think we should make a storage system where every single chest in the storage system has a different item that is attributed to it. Now, of course we can do this in vanilla Minecraft with item filters and hoppers, but you have to do it in rows and they're pretty big contraptions and they lead to absolutely massive storage systems. So I imagine doing something like this should actually stay quite compact. And the interesting thing is because mechanical arms are really cool looking things, I want to make a feature of them. I want them to be out the front and not out the back. And that's going to lead to some rather interesting issues that we're going to have to resolve. Anyway, first things first, I just want to work out what the range of mechanical arms is. Okay, that is too far. What about this? Okay. So that seems to be a good enough distance. This mechanical arm right here should be able to pick up the items from that depot there and put them into that thing up there. That is just quite impressive reach there, mister. So with all of that taken into account, I think this here is going to be the size of our storage system. Now by regular vanilla Minecraft standards, this isn't particularly big, but remember each one of these chests represents a different individual item. So we could have cobblestone, stones, stone stairs, stone slabs, all of these different things, they're all different things. And these mechanical arms are going to be moving all the items from this chest right here into these chests over here. The only issue is mechanical arms can't actually place items inside a chest, they have to place them inside a chute. Now this, this doesn't look particularly pretty, and to be honest with you, I can't actually get into the chest, so that makes the whole thing pretty useless. So the idea has totally failed, and that is the end of the video. Goodbye. Uh, of course, I'm joking. What I'm going to do is push the chutes up from underneath the floor when items are put into the system. So when we put items into this chest right here, that we want to be sorted into the chests around here, then all of the chutes will pop up, the mechanical arms will do their thing, and then once it's finished, the chutes will drop down, which I imagine is going to look absolutely fantastic. So these mechanical arms are now fully connected to our infinite power generator over there, and they are absolutely flying. I mean, look at the speed at which these gogs are moving. So next up, we need to detect when items are actually put inside this chest, and that is done using fairly vanilla Minecraft -y techniques. So we're just going to output a redstone signal to here, and the first thing that I actually need to do is I need to move these blocks out the way because when all of our shoots pop up, they're also going to pop up some floor blocks as well. And I don't want anything to get broken. But with that being said, there is definitely a chance that things are going to get broken. I've created my wall of funnels. Yeah, these things are called funnels. I've created my wall of funnels. They're all glued together. They should move as one and go up to the top here in front of the chests. But honestly, I don't know what's going to happen. I have absolutely no idea. That looked really promising. 
But then also, okay, that block got moved. I must have accidentally put some glue there. Fine, fine, that's fine. There's some chests down there. I don't know if I should be concerned about that, but I'm, I'm going to choose to not be concerned about that. Honestly, I think we've actually been successful. I think this has actually worked. So then if I just power this little thing right here, Oh no, <gasps> we're all right. I only glued them horizontally. I did not glue them vertically because I'm a moron. So at least that resolves that panic. Right, this is going up like this and all of these are now fully glued. They're glued across like this and now they're being glued vertically. And that side has also been fully glued as well. If it breaks this time, then it's just embarrassing. And activate. That seemed good. We have got full shoots. We have got full shoots, they're not shoots, what are they? What are these things? I forget the name, funnels, full funnels. And now I have everything connected up to this chest right here. So that is absolutely amazing. Okay, so placing the items. <laughs> oh man, the create mod. Oh, the create mod. It's honestly too cool. Let's work on getting the other side all constructed. Then we can start work on actually hooking up our mechanical arms. Items going in. And, oh dear, what on earth has happened there? <laughs> okay, fine. I imagine I've accidentally glued some blocks that shouldn't have been glued. That definitely looks like that's the case. But now that that's all fixed, removing the items and everything should all drop down nicely in sync. Beautiful. Now I actually think our mechanical arm side of things should be quite easy. I mean, first things first, I actually need to swap all of these shoots. What are these things called? Funnels. How, how do I keep forgetting that? I played way too much Minecraft today. I need to swap all of these funnels around so that they're facing into the chests. And is that breaking all the glue? No, it's not. I was going to say, I was about to get incredibly, incredibly upset. But yeah, all of these funnels need to be converted from being output funnels to input funnels. And then if I just grab my mechanical arm, I should just be able to right click on all of these and get them all hooked as being inputs for this mechanical arm. And that should do the trick. So that's that. And then I have this little depot down at the bottom here. That is going to be where it picks up the items from. And there, there we go. It started moving bits around. I, I mean that. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. So it works. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I haven't done any of the item sorting, but that is how it would function. That was unexpected and also amazing. Time to get all of the item filters worked out. I don't know why I'm taking this as seriously as I would an actual storage system, but I'm trying to make sure that everything does make sense here. And now all of the items are worked out and now it is time for a proper test. I am absolutely terrified at this point in time, but I've got a selection of items that are sortable and I'm going to put them into our input chest. I'm going to see what happens. And it looks like it's working, and it is the greatest thing in the history of mankind ever. Look at this thing go! Wow, it is fast. Okay, so we're down to, we've, we've got the birch, oh look, the mechanical pistons. They're all being sorted out, they're being put into their chest as well. That mechanical arm is doing its thing. Oh, it's moved over to yellow concrete. I mean, I could watch this all day long. Look at it go. This is the coolest thing in the world. I need this in my life on the Hermitcraft server immediately. I mean, I have no, I have no idea how expensive it is. This is probably a ridiculously expensive contraption. I can't imagine these things are cheap, but regardless, it is worth however much it costs to craft them in survival mode because this is absolutely fantastic and I could watch this all day long. I mean, is it, is it nearly done? It's done. It's done. So then everything drops down. And we are left with the chests. Now there is one minor design flaw with this system in that you can't use item frames on the chests because of course the shoots move up in front of them. But to get around that, you can make use of signs. For example, something a little bit like this. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not perfect, but considering how cool this thing is, I think that's a small price to pay. And as you can see, all of the items have made their way into the correct locations. So we've got all of those in all the right places. I mean, look, I can't help myself. I, I can't help myself, I'm gonna chuck some more in. Just a little bit of redstone, everything activates, our mechanical arm goes into action and puts all of the items away in the correct place. 
and then eventually everything drops down. This is fantastic. This is so, so cool. This is like something out of a James Bond film, but slightly better. I'm impressed. I'm chuffed to bits. I'm very, very happy. I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. This has been a lot of fun. It's taken ages. There were some serious issues with the designs that I did that took me many hours to fix. But I'm very, very proud of what we've created here. And one thing that I've noticed is I was very scared making modded content. People love Create. They absolutely love it. Everyone's asking for it. So expect to see much more of this coming on the channel very soon.